behalf of myself and the remainder of alumni here at the Almasti Alma Mater, welcome to the Sasquatch Aptitude Test, the official entry exam of the world-renowned Alabama Booger Academy. Here at the Sasquatch Halls of Knowledge, we've created an exam that was designed to be educational and at the same time entertaining and fun. This is a 31 question multiple choice exam with each question having only one correct answer. Although more than one answer may apply in some cases, when it does simply select the most appropriate answer. Just use common sense. Also, a few of your possible answers may seem a bit whacked, but remember, this is a wacky subject. And in some cases, the most far-fetched choice of answer may indeed be the correct one. Now, if you don't have a blank sheet of paper and a pen handy, please go ahead and pause the video and grab one. That's all you're going to need. Those of you who paused, welcome back. And what the hell took you so long? Just kidding. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get our sheets of paper and number them vertically, 1 through 31 leaving room at the right of each number for your answer, which again is multiple choice, so it'll be just like a letter A, B, C, D, or E, possibly a few true or falses as well. And then after question 31, we're going to go ahead and turn around and grade your test. It should be fun. And remember, this is a test, so you can't pause and Google the answer after each question. Well, however, it is okay to go ahead and pause the video to contemplate your answer. Just no referencing anything other than your brain or your there's a couple more people, more than one person taking the test, you know, go ahead and contemplate amongst yourselves, but can't look it up. All right. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Clear your desks. Eyes forward. No talking. Let's begin. Here's question number one. Bigfoot sightings have been reported from how many states in the U.S.? A, 49. B, 48. C, 51. D, 50 or E, 37. Remember, please be sure to keep your answers on a separate sheet of paper. We will grade the test after question number 31. Moving on to question number two. It is believed that Sasquatch have the ability to stun or paralyze their prey with the use of a low frequency sound that they are able to emit at will. This ability has also been reported to make humans feel disoriented, nauseous, Experience loss of time and blood and urine. This ability is known as A. Telepathy B. Zapping C. The Woo D. Infrasound or E. Flatulence Now, question number three. Tree structures are believed to be created and used by Sasquatch most likely as a. A way to cure boredom. B. A form of billboards and signs that communicate various messages and convey logistics. C. Jungle gyms. Or D. Nothing. They are created by the wind or are deadfall. Question number four. Here in North America, on which side of any given mountain are you most likely to find evidence of Sasquatch? A, the northeast face, B, the northwest face, C, the southeast, D, southwest, or E, up on the sagittal crest. Question number five. The names Bigfoot and Sasquatch are widely used in the northern parts of the U.S. However, in the south, when referring to the same creature, it is much more likely to be called a. A wood booger. B. A skunk ape. C. A grass man. D. A stinkaboo. Or E. All or any of the above. Question number six. In the U.S., which state has the most Bigfoot sighting reports? A. Rhode Island. B. California. C. Texas. D, Ohio, E, Washington, or F, Oklahoma? Question number seven. How many different subspecies types of Bigfoot are known to exist in the world today? A, between five to eight. B, 
four. C, six, if you count dogmen. D, five. Or E, no one is 100% certain. Moving on to question number eight. In Japan, Bigfoot or Sasquatch have been sighted quite often and are known and referred to as A. Ghidorah B. Godzuki C. Higaboo D. Mothra E. Higabon or F. Sushi Slayer Question number nine. Is a true or false? There have been numerous sightings and reports from credible witnesses here in the U.S. of Bigfoot standing 18 feet and taller. True or false? That brings us to question number 10. In the Holy Bible, the book of Genesis refers to a group of individuals as the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. These individuals are also known as A. Goliaths B. Denisovans C. The Rephaim, D. Nephilim, or E. The Nerf Herders. Question number 11. The sagittal crest is the part of a, or sorry, the sagittal crest is A. The part of a, of a Sasquatch's foot that allows it to bend and grab tree limbs. B. The bone that runs lengthwise along the middle of the top of a skull. C, the toothpaste recommended most by the American Dental Association. Or D, the crusty film that builds up on a Sasquatch's dingleberries. Question number 12. Which of the following was not a species of human? A, Homo erectus. B, Homo heidelbergensis. C, Homo nalidi. D, Homo australopithecus. E. Homo nuzilapithecus, or F. Homo sapiens adultu, which one was not a species of human. All right, number 13. In the U.S., one out of three Sasquatch sighting reports come from A. Within the city limits, B. The big thicket, C. The southeastern states, D. California, or E, the Pacific Northwest. All right, number 14. The three main differences between type A or type one and type B or type two Sasquatch are A, type A's grow larger, are less dangerous, and have clawed feet. B, type A's grow larger, are more dangerous, and have a sagittal crest. C. Type A's grow larger, have a more prominent sagittal crest, and are less aggressive. D. Type A's are smaller, have less of an odor, and generally live near lots of water. Or E. Type A's have bigger feet, cannot lock their knees, and do not eat meat. Probably going to want to pause it and contemplate that one for a minute. All right, on to number 15 now. When out researching Sasquatch, you are much more likely to have an encounter if you A. Wear a ghillie suit, mask your scent, use a distress, a distress call and bait with a dead animal. B. Use well choreographed tree knocks and whooping yells in the proper sequence. C. Make yourself appear vulnerable, sit quietly and meditate on non-threatening thoughts. Or D, dress up like a female Sasquatch, put on some rap music, and pour all the juice from a large can of tuna over your head. All right, number 16. Which one of these celebrities is not a huge Bigfoot enthusiast? A, Tommy Lasorda. B, Rob Lowe. C, Bobcat Goldthwait. D, Joe Rogan. And E, Megan Fox. Which one is not a Bigfoot enthusiast? Question number 17. Although known to vary, the four most reported Sasquatch eye colors are A. Blue, black, brown, and red. B. Black, brown, green, and hazel. C. Green, brown, red, and black. 
or D, periwinkle, chartreuse, hot pink, and taupe? All right, question number 18. All of the different tribes of First Nation people in North America had their own name for Sasquatch. Which one of these names was not one of them? A, the Yayayash. B, the Penguiri. C, the Oma. D, the Steyama. Or E, Bakwas. Number 19. In Russia, Sasquatch is known as A, the Yeti. B, the Yeren. C, the Yowie. D, the Almas, E, Merikaksi, or F, Bolshaya Stupnia. Now, we're up on question number 20. Fill in the blank. Bigfoot legends go back at least blank years. A, 10,000. B, 3,000. C, 300, D, 51, or E, 17 billion. Moving on to question number 21. Another fill in the blank. Blank fossils have never been found in the U.S. A, Homo neanderthalus. B, Cro-Magnon. C, Homo erectus. D, Gigantopithecus or E, the Denisovans. Question number 22. Although more than one answer may apply, which is most true? It is believed that the bodies of deceased Bigfoot are very rarely ever found because A, they always eat their dead. B, the bodies are cremated. C, they are all tossed into the pit of misery. D, they bury their dead. Or E, they have a built-in auto-cloaking mechanism that kicks in upon expiration. Question number 23. The children of the Nephilim are known as A, the Anunnaki, B, the Babylonians, C, the Mesopotamians, D, the children of the corn, or E, Nephilim were a hybrid and therefore unable to reproduce. Question number 24. A hybrid created through fusion of a sperm and an egg from two completely different species is known as A. A. Abomination. B. Nephilim. C. Chimera. D. Humanoid. Or E. Hominin. Question number 25. The Wu is the name associated with... A. Sasquatch language. B. The leader of all Sasquatch. C. The magical or paranormal side of Bigfoot. D. Bigfoot howls and what they mean. Or E. A rock band from England featuring Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey. Question number 26. Question number 26. Legend has it that the Skookums were a group of... A. Mentally challenged Sasquatch inbreeds that were responsible for the near extinction of the American bison. B. Cannibalistic wildmen who lived on the peak of Mount St. Helens. C. Rogue bipeds that reigned over central Utah, killing so many creatures and people that they permanently polluted the Great Salt Lake. Or D. The very first skunk apes to cross the Bering Strait and settle here in the U.S. Question number 27. It is widely believed that you can gauge the potential danger of a Sasquatch encounter by examining the color of its eyes. Each color is believed to correspond with a different disposition. Based on this theory, which of these diagrams would hold most true? A. Red equals safe. Green equals run. Brown equals hungry. B. Red equals extreme danger. Leave now. Green, be cautious, potential danger. Brown, no worries. Or C, red equals be cautious. Green equals no worries. Brown equals run, extreme danger. Question number 28. 
As a result of the Sasquatch Genome Project, Bigfoot is now recognized as an official species in the science world. The name given to the species is A. Homo sapiens sasquatchopithecus B. Homo sapiens clognasal C. Homo squatchian grandfootius D. Homo sapiens cognatus or E. Homo sapiens mountain mophoeus Question number 29. Bigfoot howls and vocalizations have been reported to sound like A. Train whistles and tornado warning sirens B. Chinese women fighting and arguing C. The voices from the chipmunks cartoons and movies D. Harley Davidson's lawnmowers and weed whackers or E. All of the above Question number 30. In Sasquatch language and yes, they do have one. The phrase Nahalio Napisu most accurately means A. Yo, homie, what's cracking? B. What's up, dude? I mean you no harm, just chill. C. Good lord, you could use a bath and a makeover. Or D. I'm unarmed, I'm gonna leave. Please do not kill or follow me. All right, our last and final question. Question number 31. In 1974, the skeletal remains of the Australopithecus lucy were unearthed in Ethiopia. Why was this specimen named lucy? A, because the DNA sequence not only revealed that it was a female, it showed that she had red hair and blue eyes. B, the archaeologist who discovered the remains is named Lucille Negan. C, because the skeleton dated back to 12,000 B.C. and L is the 12th letter of the alphabet. Or D, because after the discovery, they threw a huge party, and the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds was playing on the radio, and somehow it just kind of stuck. All right, we, before we reveal the answers here, let's quickly go over how grading is going to work. Anyone scoring between 97 and 100% is eligible to receive a certificate here for the Alabama Booger Academy. Just shoot me over your name and your email address and I'll have that made up for you and sent over within a week or so. Now, 97 to 100 percent is fantastic. That's only missing one. But anybody between 90 and 97 is still an expert. You're considered a legitimate researcher. Nothing to be ashamed of there. 80 to 90 percent, hey, you might need a little bit of brushing up, but you're still doing a hell of a job there. 70 to 80 percent is about average, and I hate to say it, but 70 percent or lower, you just might be a poser. All right? Now, keep in mind, anyone who participates here and receives the 97 or higher will be forever enshrined in, the, in eternity in the Sasquatch Halls of Knowledge, joining the ranks of our many other prestigious graduates, as you can see here. All right, let's go ahead and get over to grading now. Grab your sheets. Here we go. Question number one, your answer is D. Bigfoot sightings have been reported from how many states in the U.S.? The number is 50. Question number two, your answer is D, infrasound. Question number three, a form of billboards and signs that communicate various messages and convey logistics. Their answer is B. Question number four. You should have answered northeast. The northeast face is generally the shadiest and the lushest and far more cover than any other side of the mountain. That's where you're generally going to find your Sasquatch activity. Number five. Your answer was E, all or any of the above. Let me move on to number six here. In the U.S., which state has the most Bigfoot sighting reports? It's Washington, with California running in a close second. Number seven, answer is E. No one is 100% certain. If they try to tell you they're, they are, they're uh, blowing smoke. They are not quite certain, absolutely not. No one knows for sure. Number eight, in Japan, the Sasquatch is known as the Higabon. Number E. Number nine, you should have answered false. 
there have not been too many reports of if any of sasquatch over 18 and 18 feet and taller i'm sure there's been a few but not many not numerous number 10 he should have answered d nephilim number 11 the answer is b the bone that runs lengthwise along the middle of the top of the skull moving to 12 which of the following was not a species of human? That would be Homo nuzilopithecus. No such thing. 13. In the U.S., one out of three Sasquatch sightings reports come from the Pacific Northwest. Absolutely. On to 14. The three main differences between a Type A and Type B Sasquatch are C. Type A's grow larger have a more prominent sagittal crest, and are less aggressive. Number 15. Should have answered C. Make yourself appear vulnerable. Sit quietly and meditate on non-threatening thoughts is probably your best way to get some kind of activity. Any of the other crap is probably going to get them scared away. All right, on to 16 here. Which of these celebrities is not a huge Bigfoot enthusiast? That should be easy. Tommy Lasorda. Number A. On to 17. Although known to vary, the four most reported Sasquatch eye colors are C. Green, brown, red, and black. On to 18. All of these different tribes and are all of these different names here did belong to the tribes here in North America except for B. Bepinguri was the name used for, from Brazil and South America, so that wouldn't apply. On to number 19 in Russia, Sasquatch is known as D, Almas. Most appropriate answer here on number 20, 3,000. Bigfoot legends go back at least 3,000 years. And we're not talking about Nephilim or the giants or things that were in the Bible. We're talking about the Bigfoot legend, about 3,000 years. All right, number 21. Which fossils have never been found in the U.S.? That would be D. Gigantopithecus have never been found here in the U.S. On to 22. Most appropriate answer here would be they bury their dead. Most people believe, and the researchers that have really, really looked into this are pretty much going towards the, the burial part here. Um, I doubt that many cremate their dead because they don't start fires. Chances are a lot of them do eat their dead, but not most. There's no such thing as a pit of misery, and some are easy jokes, so, yeah, D. All right, on to 23. The children of the Nephilim are also known as, as far as I could tell, E. Nephilim were a hybrid and therefore unable to reproduce. On to 24. A hybrid created through fusion of a sperm and an egg from two completely different species is known as a C, Chimera. 25, the Wu is the name associated with C, the magical or paranormal side of Bigfoot. Number 26, legend has it that the Skookums were a group of, should have answered B, cannibalistic wild men who lived on the peak of Mount St. Helens. That's the legend. All right, on 27, hopefully you selected B. Red means extreme danger. Get the hell out of there. Green, watch out. There's a good chance they might still light you up. And brown, you could probably not have to worry too much. 28. As a result of the Sasquatch Genome Project, the name given to Sasquatch was D, Homo sapiens cognatus. Here we have 29. Bigfoot howls and vocalizations have been reported to sound like Everything listed there, believe it or not. Every single thing listed there. E, all of the above. And on to number 30, we have Sasquatch language. Believe it or not, they do have one. And in this case, Nahalio Nepisu would mean, what's up, dude? I mean you no harm, just chill, most appropriately. Absolutely true. And 31, believe it or not, the answer there is Lucy was named because of that night they threw a party and the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds was on. 
and they just kind of decided to name her Lucy. Believe it or not, that's a, that's a fact. All right, that'll conclude the answers there. Hopefully you did okay. Let me know in your comments, all right? And now, finally, in closing, on behalf of myself and all the remaining alumni here at the Almasti Alma Mater, thank you all for participating, and may your futures be prosperous. God bless you all. Watch. Mm.